Okay. Mm. In fact, uh, our presentation is based on an article which is already published. And uh, this article, um, uh, it's published in uh, Linguistico Uralica, so everyone can download it from the official website of the journal. And uh, the main aim of our research was to compile uh, Swedish lists for five Finnic varieties, uh, namely uh, Vortic, uh, two dialects of Ingrin, Soikula Ingrin and Lava Nuva Ingrin, uh, Standard Estonian and Standard Finnish. Uh, in uh, the current talk, uh, we concentrate, we focus on two aspects. First, on the research methodology. And second, uh, we would like to make some observation on the basis of the compiled word lists. Because the main aim of the original research was uh, the lists themselves, but uh, of course uh, it is not uh, appropriate to just to uh, read out all these lists here. Uh, so uh, we will focus on some uh, additional observations uh, which uh, appeared as a result of our research. Uh, so the first question is why uh, these languages uh, uh, were chosen. Uh, actually, the original interest was three minor varieties, Vortic and two Ingrian dialects, uh, which belong to the uh, Western Ingria uh, Sprachbund. Actually, it's a place with very intensive language uh, contacts. Uh, and also they, these languages uh, have contact with Russian language, with the Russian language. Uh, interesting that uh, the genetic affiliation of these varieties is not the same because Vortic, um, as well as Estonian, belongs to the southern branch of Finnic languages, while uh, Ingrin uh, and uh, Finnic belong to northern branch of Finnic languages. Uh, and also, uh, the special point was about Lower Luga dialect of Ingrin. Uh, uh, this uh, dialect, in fact, uh, is not uh, just one of the Ingrin dialects, but a kind of converged, uh, kind of converged language, uh, which is uh, which appeared on the basis of uh, Ingrin, Vortic, with some uh, influence of Ingrin, Finnish, and Estonian. And uh, from that point of view, the interest to uh, this uh, dialect uh, is uh, completely understandable. Uh, so, uh, and uh, Finnish and uh, standard Finnish and standard Estonian, we uh, uh, add, uh, added them uh, as a Finnic context uh, because they are a big and uh, well studied languages. Uh, just to give uh, the information where it uh, happens, it's uh, Western uh, Ingria, and uh, here are uh, two uh, Ingrian dialects and Vortic near them. Well, so why uh, Swedish list? Uh, of course, everyone understands that measuring of uh, distance between languages is always an interesting problem for linguistics. And we know that language is a very complicated object, uh, and uh, potentially there could be very many different uh, factors which we can uh, analyze and compare. But one of the most successful attempts to measure uh, distance is uh, compiling word lists, because you can uh, just uh, count uh, the similar words in languages. And, uh, of course, there are very many different types of lists. Uh, you can see them uh, on the slides. Uh, um, and uh, our uh, choice uh, was uh, the, uh, uh, the list uh, compiled by uh, Cassian uh, Debo uh, uh, and uh, Altera in 2010, because this list uh, has a special uh, methodology, because uh, the main problem of compiling uh, lists is uh, the problem of uh, uh, synonymy. Uh, if uh, you just uh, take uh, some translation of a word and uh, will try to find 
uh, 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 words in a dictionary, for example. In this case, you can get very many different synonyms, and uh, the problem is which synonym you can choose. And uh, actually, there are some examples, from my point of view, not successful examples, when people uh, did this, this way, and the result was very, very strange. Uh, but um, uh, how we can uh, solve this problem of synonymy? Uh, first of all, we can use more than one language uh, in the list of basic meanings, because uh, in this case, every language can narrow uh, the meaning of a uh, word. Uh, also, we can uh, give some additional commands which uh, allow us to narrow this meaning. And, of course, we can use a context to, uh, for the same um, aim. And actually, this uh, uh, semantic specification which was given by Cassian et Altera uh, in their article, they uh, give all these three possibilities. Uh, here you can see example for one word uh, edges from uh, that article. You can see uh, here is uh, both Russian and English uh, translation. Uh, the context, uh, several simple sentences, uh, also in Russian and in English, and also additional uh, comments which uh, allow, to, uh, allow us to choose the correct uh, word. So uh, we decided to use this a methodology, and uh, from our point of view, the result was uh, successful. Uh, so, uh, what was uh, uh, now about the results? Uh, so, uh, concerning synonyms, uh, in spite of the fact that we use this uh, system, uh, this methodology, uh, there were several uh, cases where uh, we weren't uh, able to choose one synonym, but actually there were only three or maybe four, but there are three of them, and I think it's a very good result uh, if you uh, uh, we, uh, speak about uh, 110 uh, 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 list for every language, so it means that altogether there were, there were uh, 550 words, in fact even slightly more. And only uh, such three words uh, were uh, problematic. One was uh, in circular Indian, the word for liver, because actually they are using uh, either uh, some composite uh, based on their own verbs or, uh, uh, or words, or uh, they use Russian borrowing. Uh, for Finnish, uh, our informants weren't able to distinguish uh, meanings of uh, palion and monte in the uh, context, so both words uh, were uh, completely okay in the context. And uh, in Lava Luga Ingrian, also there is a situation when uh, two possible words and distribution depends on a particular native speaker, it's word Vosi or uh, Astalka. Uh, also, the, the for, uh, uh, fourth situation was rather specific. We don't know exactly how to uh, qualify it. It's the variation between uh, Nimi and Imi for name, but uh, it looks like Imi is a very strange word, uh, a kind of combination of Nimi and Russian Imia. Uh, so, uh, in this case, it's rather difficult to uh, qualify it as variant of the word or uh, independent lexeme, so uh, we put a question mark here. Um, so, uh, uh, what uh, concerning these lists? Uh, first of all, uh, it was uh, only, it was a very rare situation when uh, in these five varieties, we can find three different roots. Uh, it happened only with three of uh, the items, with the word uh, uh, to lie. Uh, in uh, minor languages, it's uh, Russian borrowing, 
from Lejat uh, in Estonian its own root and in Finnish its own uh, with snake uh, because uh, in Estonian uh, in spite of the fact there is in a new recruit uh, mother uh, there is also borrowing hoos which was chosen as a uh, better uh, corresponding to the context uh, and uh, for uh, sin uh, also there were uh, different roots uh, but uh, uh, and in all these cases you can see that it's a position that it's Estonian has one root, Finnish has another root and minor languages has uh, minor varieties has uh, the third root uh, concerning uh, Bipartite positions, uh, there were uh, such situations. First, uh, on the first place, as a language which opposed to all others, uh, was Finnish. There were 16 items when uh, Finnish was different. Uh, Estonian was different uh, in 11 cases. Uh, Soikol Ingrian in two cases and Vortec uh, in one uh, case was uh, different, uh, but of Vortec it's interesting that this uh, root was specific only for the chosen variety of Vortec. If, uh, if we have chosen some other variety, the result will be, uh, would be different. Uh, and um, Vortec and Estonian opposed to other languages two times, Estonian and Finnish uh, to others one time, and uh, uh, here were uh, other combinations, Soikul, Ingrian and Finnish, uh, we can say, uh, yeah, uh, Soikul, Ingrian and Finnish uh, one time, Vortic and Flower Luga, Ingrian one time, and Estonian uh, plus one of the variants of Flower Luga uh, one time. So, um, so what are the lexical statistical distances? You can see here the table, here the difference in uh, person. Uh, persons and here a uh, number of uh, items which were uh, different in some uh, uh, numbers you can see uh, that it's uh, comma five it means that uh, only one of these uh, synonyms mentioned above was uh, counted and uh, what's interesting so the closest varieties were Gothic and uh, Lover Luga Ingrian. Uh, so, uh, from that point of view, it, uh, we can say that it rather supports the idea that Lover Luga Ingrian is a kind of convergent language, but the difference with, for example, uh, uh, where Soy Luga Ingrian, Lover Luga Ingrian is uh, uh, extremely small, so uh, only 1%, so uh, it doesn't mean that. It's a very, very uh, important uh, difference. Um, and uh, the uh, smallest, uh, I think the, the biggest difference was between uh, Estonian and Finnish. So actually uh, 27 words had different roots. Uh, so uh, what uh, were the reasons for this diversity? Why? languages, uh, uh, this is in general, uh, we, uh, we can say the close related languages have different roots. Uh, we uh, found that there are several reasons. Uh, the first uh, reason is that uh, in proto Phoenix there were several uh, quasi-synonymic words. I, I'm afraid this is mountain, not name. Oh, it's, uh, sorry, of course, it's just uh, mistaken here, of course. Uh, uh, it's mountain uh, here, uh, but uh, I, I, I will give here only a couple of examples. In fact, there are more such words. Uh, you'll see uh, the number of them uh, later. Uh, so uh, you see uh, quite a synonymic words because uh, uh, sometimes there were synonyms, and in one language, one uh, of uh, the synonyms became dominant in another language, and another became dominant. Like here, also semantic shift. Uh, when, uh, for example, this mountain, uh, the word in uh, the uh, word Maggie, match, and so on. Uh, originally, it meant rather hills and mountain, but in Finnish, 
uh, war uh, is uh, the main threat for a mountain. Uh, also, uh, the same situation, for example, with sleep, when Nukwa in other languages uh, means rather, how to say, to those. To those, yeah. Uh, the third reason was uh, when uh, the language used some more or less um, ancient root, but uh, uh, use uh, uh, some derivation. Uh, some deri derivation uh, to uh, derive new word. Uh, the example, for example, uh, in this labor liha or lever. Labor, in fact, it's uh, boring, uh, old boring for bread, and liha is meat, uh, and uh, it replaced the original uh, uh, max, uh, which uh, also exists in circle Indian, but has completely different, uh, uh, not complete, but different meaning, actually. It's liver, but only a liver of fish, not liver in general. Uh, and the fourth uh, reason was loan words. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, uh, for example, in Estonian, uh, there are uh, many uh, loan words, but also there can be loan words like here also in minor languages. Um, and uh, 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 the, uh, the fifth category was unclear etymology. Uh, it happened, for example, with Finnish words Aurink or Hirka, where which we can trace and explain why they appeared and what the, uh, their origins. So uh, in this table you can see the number uh, for each category in every uh, variety, how many um, words with uh, specific words uh, appeared there um, of every category. Uh, again, a number given in uh, parentheses uh, is the number uh, or, uh, of one of the synonyms in the list. So, um, okay, uh, so what are uh, conclusions? Uh, first, that uh, in general, the difference uh, between minor languages, uh, namely Vortic and two Indian dialects, is extremely small. So, 94% uh, or more of the four lexicon uh, coincides. Uh, in spite of the fact that Indian and Vortic belong to different uh, branches of Finnic languages. The major languages, Estonian and Finnish, demonstrate a greater difference uh, both from minor languages and also from each other. Uh, actually, we already um, discussed these various reasons why the lexical divert diversity between languages increases. And uh, some global conclusion concerning the methodology of lexical statistics is that uh, for closely related languages, lexical statistics lexical statistics does not have a strong correlation with their uh, genetic distance. So uh, from that point of view, we should be accurate uh, on making conclusions about uh, genetic affiliation of languages if we use only lexical statistical uh, methodology. Uh, okay, so thank you very much for your attention. Uh, sorry, I didn't understand the uh, question quite right. Uh, what was the problem with uh, this? Uh, well, there were 12 different problems, such as, for example, the absence of a lexical item, the presence of only hyphenemes, the absence of too many different lexemes that could potentially be filled in, and so forth. 
and there is no way to decide unless you have a very uh, extensive appendix to the Swedish list that it talks about to uh, actually, uh, of course, uh, this uh, uh, problem of synonyms is understandable, but uh, it's the reason why we use this methodology which allow our, uh, for us uh, to cut all this... It's not synonymy, it may, it may, may be something completely different. For example, Can I there is a sub-classification uh, uh, in the language I was working on. Uh, the, there is no single uh, verb for the meaning give. Because it, there will be 10 or 15 different words depending on what you are giving. And there is no way to decide which one to pick. Or uh, in our case, we didn't have such problems, uh, such crucial problems. Uh, so maybe the Swedish list is good for Eurasian languages? No, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I think that, uh, of course, uh, in some languages there can be uh, some problems with some items. But, uh, for example, it's, uh, for me it's uh, strange to imagine that for most of the words in Swedish list you have uh, such situation like with give. Uh, I don't think that they have, for example, 10 different words for sun or uh, 10 different words for... Of course there can be uh, examples uh, uh, that uh, also that some concepts are not act, uh, actual in the language, and, but uh, in our case, in, in general, it uh, it worked. So uh, it worked, and it was quite okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah, I just want to talk about one word, the word for many, which was Armenian or Monta. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the languages you got both of these, but. Uh, I wonder if they are really synonyms because we uh, have uh, Italian for most of the languages, but this is for known use for uncountables like water, and then Monta is used for countables like uh, many individuals. So in this one language you have both of these. I wonder do they really use the synonyms as synonyms for communication? Um. They say Monta might or a lot of uh, it uh, doesn't mean that uh, if uh, hmm? no, no. The problem is not there in general synonyms. The problem is that according to this methodology, uh, for this uh, context, uh, there were no uh, uh, evident domination of one of these words. Because uh, uh, we, uh, it doesn't mean that if uh, we, we weren't able to choose a synonym, if they are uh, exact synonyms. It means that the methodology doesn't allow. Actually, uh, I cannot say that um, I uh, completely satisfy, we completely satisfied with this methodology. With some uh, languages, there can be uh, questionable results. For example, for according to the context for the word for uh, um, earth, uh, the Estonian uh, word which was chosen was not ma but muld because of this context. And it's of course very questionable thing, but we tried uh, to follow the methodology very accurately because uh, methodology is methodology. If you will decide to uh, uh, make decisions uh, not according to methodology, why we need the methodology? Uh, so uh, it's question or raise it to the original. Uh, methodology, but also an uh, interesting thing which uh, is described in the article which I didn't mention uh, in our presentation uh, is that uh, we also compared um, our results uh, with um, uh, the results, uh, rather I think good results, um, uh, which uh, from the uh, word list uh, made by Tillinger for uh, Estonian and for Finnish languages and check the difference between uh, our results uh, based on this methodology and uh, his results uh, which uh, weren't based on this methodology but were based on also very good uh, knowing of these languages and uh, there were five items in Estonian and uh, four items in Estonian and four items in Finnish when we have different uh, uh, lexemes chosen but for all other cases, we have the similar results. I think it's a very good result, which also 
shows uh, how to say this degree of uh, in accuracy of in general methodology. I think that about five percent uh, can uh, be uh, how to say it, uh, <laughs> can be expected as a methodology based, based uh, variation. Well, I should just mm -hmm. comment, uh, it's more a comment than a question, that um, I think in, that in many cases the language borders would be entirely different if they would be, would be made on lexical basis. And usually, uh, I, I recall the uh, recent uh, book by Hohan Rudin on Sami lexical variation, which is very similar to your results, uh, in that he found uh, a great similarity uh, in the lexicon of the Sami languages spoken in the same area, whereas he found great differences between uh, individual dialects of one Sami language depending on the uh, ecological area where they were spoken. Uh, and I think this is also the case in the Finnish language area. You could find great uh, lexical dissimilarities between Finnish dialects, for instance, if you talk uh, those dialects spoken in the Swedish Gulf region, to those spoken in Lapland, Timber region, or something like that. So it's no wonder, I guess, that it's, it's the overall uh, ecological and economical contexts that, that, that plays the role here. Okay, thank you very much. In general, it would be very interesting to have uh, such lists for different Finnish dialects. Uh, uh, we are, uh, now, I think. Only what Evgenia Kuzyona, who is here, she has come uh, part of this uh, data for the list for Ingri and Finnish, uh, and so we didn't uh, process it yet, but uh, we hope that uh, we process it yet, but we hope to work with it. But for uh, men and Finnish dialects, it would be very good to uh, have such lists, and if some are uh, of your students would like to do it, uh, it will be very welcome. No, we didn't have. Uh, we didn't use it because we didn't have uh, enough data. Because in this case, you should work with a native speaker. Uh, it uh, was the uh, main point because for even for Finnish, for uh, Estonian, we used native speakers uh, to help. Not on the dictionaries, it's not enough because we have this experience uh, uh, when we saw the uh, works based only on dictionaries and uh, the result is, is not successful. Because dictionary doesn't give you the need, uh, needed context. You have here context and you should ask how you will translate with which word uh, here, why this word is uh, better than this. So um, I think it's more general and this is not general. It's, uh, too bookish, it's so a normal word. So you see, such things you can get from dictionaries usually. Uh, you think that the scientific statements of these five languages you have compared may play a role? Like that, um, you say that the difference between these three minor languages, the left, and between Finnish and Estonian, and between Finnish and Estonian, the difference was the most, was it that these languages are widely used and continue changing or whatever, and those are frozen, or is it that because they are not used to widely, so previously? Over all languages. Uh, actually, mm, I think I don't have a uh, very uh, defined, some definite uh, opinion on this point uh, because first of all really what you uh, uh, name by status of the language because it's, it can be different. I think that uh, if language uh, has a long uh, literary tradition uh, maybe it's also uh, can develop some additional lexicon. I don't know. For me, for example, which the answer, uh, uh, maybe Mikhail now add, will add something, but for me, the question which I uh, didn't study, but I have this question in my mind, uh, uh, was it, for example, the standardization of Finnish, uh, 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 did it influence uh, the lexicon or not? 
because there was a very intensive standardization of Finnic languages and uh, maybe they have chosen some uh, words as uh, main words. But there is also um, the system that uh, the three minor uh, in the parietes studied belong uh, to one Sprachbund, uh, and um, obviously they share uh, the lexicon to um, uh, more uh, 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 more. Um, Great degree that uh, than uh, uh, standard Finnish and standard Estonian uh, languages which do not belong to this. Uh, 